hello. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jill, your English coach. So let's just do a quick review on the past tense and let's compare it to past progressive. So first of all, when we think about when we use these tenses, let's make our little chart, okay? So simple past tense, um, simple past tense. We have a lot of past tenses, but the simple past, okay? We um, are gonna, let's make our little line, okay? This is our time. And this is now, obviously this is the future. And this is the past. Okay, so simple past is something that happened in the past before today. And that happened maybe one time, but is now finished. So it's done. Okay. So one time in the past, and it's not happening anymore. All right. Past progressive happened in the past, or it started in the past. And it ended in the past. So this is now. So it happened, the past progressive was like this. It happened for that pe period of time. So for example, I was studying Spanish in Peru. Okay, I was studying. Okay, so maybe you're telling a story about being in Peru and you're like, somebody says, why were you in Peru? Why were you there? And you say, I was studying. So I started studying maybe in 2001 and I stopped studying in 2003. Okay, so I started here, I studied, and then I stopped. I was studying, okay? Oftentimes when we use this tense, we discuss something that happened here. Like you can say, I was studying Spanish in Peru when... I met my husband. Okay. So then you say, I was studying Spanish in Peru when I met my husband. Okay. So this is past progressive. And then this is actually simple past. So you had something happen, start, happen here, something happened in the middle. Okay. So I met dot, dot, dot. That happened when I was studying. Okay. So the point here is obviously that we use past progressive to discuss something that started and stopped in the past. Okay. I was walking when I saw a bird. Okay. So you're talking about something. I was walking. I started walking. I was walking and walking and walking, and then it stopped maybe at the end of an hour, but in the middle, I saw a bird. So the saw is the simple present. Got it? Okay, I think we should all remember that. Um, let's talk about the, the, the negative. So we're going to simply, right, here's our, um, our formula. We've got the past tense of to be, so your subject, past tense of to be, I have this, subject, past tense of to be, plus the verb study, plus ing. I was studying, okay? When you create the negative, you insert not after here, okay? I wasn't studying Spanish. I wasn't, or I was not. You can say either. To create the question, you're simply going to change the position of the subject and the form of to be. Were they studying Spanish? Were they studying Spanish? Okay, and then the WH question, when were they studying? Okay, when, were, so you're taking this were they, you're moving it over and you're using the when here, okay? So that's just the general overview. I think you guys probably know that pretty well. Um, and then the simple past tense, well, how do we form that? In the, in the regular form, we have the verb plus ed, right? And we know because English is English <laughs> that we have so many exceptions to that rule. Um, but, and actually study is one of them because 
we change the Y to I, and then we add the ED, okay? So I, in the simple past tense, I, we've got the subject, the verb with ED, and then the rest of your sentence. I studied Spanish in Peru. To make it negative, we use did not, okay? I didn't, you didn't, she didn't, we didn't, they didn't. So that one does not change. I didn't study Spanish. I didn't, okay? The question form, did she study Spanish? Did she? So you're changing the position of the subject and the form of do. This one, yeah, I would say did and didn't and the do forms are can be very tricky for people. So um, really spending some time on practicing using that do auxiliary because um, you know, especially if you're a Spanish speaker, there's just no such thing. You you create a sentence in the same way that you create um, an affirmative statement, and you really just change the inflection of your voice. If you I, I, and I'm not sure about other languages. Um, I studied some in the past, but um, generally, um, this do do in the present tense, did in the past tense, and then don't and didn't, ah, you just have to practice it, okay? And then the WH question, when did they study Spanish? And that one, of course, needs a question mark. These are the two forms. Um, and what I'd like to do now is share the irregular past tense list. All right, this is a pretty long list, actually. So when I put it here for you guys, I'd like for you to quick take a screenshot. Okay, so here's a very long list of um, irregular verbs in English, okay? So why don't you line that up good there, take a screenshot of that, and then down here. Okay, so what we're looking at is the base form of the verb, the simple past tense, and then the past participle. And when, let's see, when do we use that past participle, you guys? When we use the perfect tenses, okay? Um, so I, um, I, here's the, a present tense, I am from Colombia. I was born in Colombia and I have been in Florida for 10 years. Okay. Have been, have been, that's where we use, that's that perfect tense. Okay. I have been. And then that's when you use the par participle. Okay. So this one is kind of tricky too, and it's very, very common. So I, um, I come to work in my car. Yesterday, I came to work on the bus. And I have come to work in my car every day for five weeks. Okay, I have come. So there are rules, but there are clearly a lot of exceptions. So again, the base form, the simple past, and then the past participle. Sleep, slept, slept, sit, sat, sat, swim, swam, swum. So some of them just don't even make sense and you really just have to practice them, okay? So what I want you guys to do is um, I do want you to practice these words and maybe, you know, just kind of take it chunk by chunk, meaning like, you know, take 10 of them, practice, 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 take the next 10, two days later, practice, 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 and just kind of, you know, you know, the way that we learn these things is like, as a native speaker, of course, you learn them just by what sounds right. But to be honest, many native English speakers, at least in the United States, make mistakes on these all the time, especially that past participle tense. Um, I mean, all the time. You know, you'll hear, I, I hear adults say them incorrectly all the time. So I want you guys to be better than the average American, but it, this part really does require you to, you as the learner to do some work. Okay.